Fans always keep out an eagle eye when it comes to spotting potential NCIS universe crossovers. Viewers have recently spotted an important reference in NCIS LA, which has made them believe in future collaborations. Let's see what we can dig up about this reference and other Easter eggs in the NCIS LA in their newest season. Let's get right into it. Starting with Deke's reference to Gibbs in NCIS LA. What does it mean? It's always a treat for fans whenever characters from the NCIS franchise make references that point towards a possible future crossover. Unfortunately, crossovers in the NCIS universe are extremely rare rare, but doesn't hurt to dream, right? Fans have always been over the moon about the recent NCIS Los Angeles episode titled Live Free or Die Standing that aired on May 1st. In the episode, one of the protagonists of the series, Marty Deeks, played by Eric Christian Olsen, made a very obvious reference to special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Now let's not forget here that Gibbs is a character played by actor Mark Harmon in NCIS, one of the first series in the NCIS franchise. Even though it was just a reference, it's been driving the fans crazy, and that's why it's important to dig deep into what's meant by this. In the episode, Marty Deeks, along with Kenzie Bly, Devin Roundtree, and Sam Hanna, who each receives an envelope that contains $10,000. The envelopes also contain a letter from Eric Beal, senior technical operator in NCIS LA. The letter talks about how Eric misses the team, and he hopes to bring happiness to everybody by sharing his wealth. Later on in the episode, we learn that Beal has also contributed $10,000 to each Fember's favorite charity. Even though the move came on randomly, things got exciting when Deeks said that the entire feat sounds like it was inspired by Gibbs. The veteran special agent Gibbs previously randomly gave medical examiner Dr. Jimmy Palmer and Special Agent McGee $10,000, which we learned about at the end of the episode. It's also revealed that Agent Gibbs has also started a college fund in the name of his deceased daughter Kelly. But the multi-million dollar question here is, how would Deeks know about Gibbs' donations and funds given the history of little to no NCIS crossovers? Did word go out and reach multiple agencies, or did Tony Dinoso, the departed character, share insight with Marty during his LA visit on Blame It On Rio? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see where it goes, right? So, can we expect possible NCIS crossovers? When there's a shared universe of multiple hit series, there's no denying that the next best thing to do is to go for a huge crossover. Fans absolutely love crossovers too, especially since we've seen how great it's worked out within the Arrowverse. However, crossovers in the NCIS universe are scarce, with the last one premiering in September 2018 in the New Orleans Season 5. Since we'll see three NCIS franchise shows airing back to back, including the newest NCIS Hawaii, there's still hope that fans can get an epic crossover saga. The executive producer of NCIS Hawaii has indicated that he finds crossovers fun, and that he never says never. We've had some pretty memorable crossover events in the franchise, I will say, including two-part episodes in 2009 and 2014, where NCIS introduced Los Angeles and New Orleans. We've also seen multiple characters appearing in each other's series, including Leon Vance, Tony Denoso, and Leroy Jethro Gibbs, who also features in LA and New Orleans. And as for future crossovers, there can always be cases that move from DC to LA to Hawaii. There are many ways which the franchise can connect the dots between the shows. For instance, with Gibbs' exit, who knows where he'd pop up next after his boat exploded. With the recent reference in NCIS LA, we cannot completely rule out the possibility of future team collaborations. Even though it's the production team's decision, fans can always vouch for what they want to see from their favorite TV shows. Now on to everything we know so far about NCIS LA Season 13. NCIS is 13 seasons strong, and fans couldn't be happier about it. Since the series is getting close to its finale, there'd be a lot of loose ends that viewers would want to see in this series before it ends up. The thing with NCIS LA is that they tend to take up multiple seasons to resolve major storylines, and the audience has got to wait until next season to get into the story again. So far, there's just too many plot holes hanging in the balance in the current season, whether it's Hattie Lange's mission in Syria or a criminal threatening the life of a fellow team member. The seasons introduced multiple arcs, out of which the audience would want for a few to reach their conclusion in the finale. Currently, we have Kenzie, played by Danelia Rua, dealing with the knowledge that a criminal she once put away is now roaming freely with the help of a presidential pardon. The criminal is making sure that Kenzie is always aware of her presence and what he's capable of. On the other hand, we have the Russian spy arc, with Katya now becoming more dangerous than ever and raising the stakes by using Kalin's deepfake. We also see the occasional shift of the show towards Deeks and Kenzie's opposite opinions about having children, which first came up in season 7. The couple is now turned towards adopting after failing to get pregnant, and it seems like they might have settled for a young girl. But there's something else in store for them, and I guess we're just gonna have to see where it leads. The series is edging closer and closer to its season finale, 
finale, which is gonna air on May 22nd. And it's gonna feature the team hunting for a robbery crew who uses military-grade power. The teaser for the season finale also hints towards something major for Deeks and Special Agent Kenzie, while things also change between Anna and Special Agent G. Callen. There's also a barbecue celebration, but fans are gonna just have to wait and see what twists and turns await in that finale. Up next in related news, what's in store for NCIS LA's 300th episode? Hit CBS TV show NCIS Los Angeles has completed a huge milestone as they hit 300 episodes on the chart. The show's been going incredibly strong, and actors Chris O'Donnell and LL Cool J have given nothing but praises for the fans. Talking to Entertainment tonight, the co-stars said that while they're coming up on 300 episodes, the only reason they're on air is because of the fans and the love that they've continued to give to the show. The TV series has amazingly won 19 different awards, including bagging an Emmy as well. Episode 300 hints at a major change in the personal lives of our beloved agents. The theme of the episode is family matters, and we see Sam Hanna's character bond with his Alzheimer-ridden former Marine father, who can no longer live alone. So, Sam moves in with his ailing father, and after selling his boat, we see Anna and Callan taking the big step in their relationship. NCIS Los Angeles renewed at CBS. It is time to rejoice, as one of the most popular crime drama series on TV has been renewed for another season. CBS's hit franchise is going to stick around for another year as the network announces season 14 of NCIS LA, and also season 20 for NCIS, and season 2 for NCIS Hawaii. NCIS has a solid fan following and a tight storyline that has kept the franchise alive for the decades that it has. The spin-off brings in exceptional numbers with the strong addition of the new series NCIS Hawaii. The franchise has taken its popularity to a whole nother level. While LA is averaging over 7.27 million viewers, the game changer is NCIS, which has been racking in the most viewers this season. It's also become the number one broadcast series this season with a record of 11.11 .11 million viewers. Fans can catch the latest episodes of NCIS and NCIS Hawaii on Mondays, while LA is going to keep entertaining the audience on its Sunday slot. Fans demand to know about Hattie. With the departure of Barrett Foa and Renee Felice Smith at the end of season 12, fans are worried about the operations manager of NCIS Los Angeles. Linda Hunt plays Henrietta Lange, who has been missing from the action for quite a while since season 13 began. Fans are seeing less of Linda Hunt due to COVID safety reasons, but showrunner R. Scott has recently revealed that fans are going to have to wait longer for the veteran actor to return to the screen. However, he did say that they have plans for the character, but she wouldn't appear until the next season. Hetty is one of the show's breakout characters who's been tied up in Syria on a mission. Hetty was the last seen at the site of the bombing in Syria, and no one knows what happened after that. Hetty was meeting with the Al-Qaeda leader, Mohammed Al Kameda in Syria, who also happens to be one target of the U.S. drone strike. Dr. Nate Getz tells Admiral Kilbride that Hetty was there to negotiate the release of hostages who were her people. And that's the last anyone's heard of Hetty. And that's a wrap for this video. You guys want to catch up on more news about NCIS LA? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you in the next one.